somebody special. Uh oh. We have just logged into this world, and I say we, I mean me and the wife. Say hi, wife. Hello. So she is really a noob at doing games, and I'm more the geek and the gamer in the house. So I thought, okay, if I'm going to go through and do a tutorial series on how to survive and thrive and worm, I should probably have a new person ask me all the questions so I could, you know, answer them in hopefully what is a timely manner. So this is pretty much the interface when you show up. <coughs> you can move everything around and there are a couple of windows here that are different. So you notice when I go to move all of these other windows, I have to click the actual tabs here to move them around. Uh, the exceptions to that are the compass, your health and status menu, and your buffs here. Those you have to actually click on the menus to move them. Um, for this little fancy bar here, you have to click the little, what is that called? Filigree? The, Wife. Wait a second. The music's too loud. Oh. <laughs> well, I turned my music off, so sorry, listeners, you will not hear mine. Um, this edge right here, what what would you call that? It, the little pretty decoration. A multitasker. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, so your chat windows and how. <clears throat> Just so you guys know, like we loaded this thing up before I could hit record. She was already asking me how to move stuff around, how to arrange the windows. So this is why I'm going through this. Your your task bar, your chat windows down here. You see the little gray area along the top? Yeah. Click that and you should be able to drag and drop the window and move it where you want to. I see. What about this personal goals thing? Okay. So something that uh, I don't think anybody has really noticed yet. Um... Our personal goals are totally different. Mine are different than hers. And I did not realize that we did not have the same goals. You could just click uh, close on that. I don't really know what it's used for at the moment. I'll keep the tutorial window up. And I'm just going to move around some of the windows to try and... How do I lock them into place so I don't mess So to lock a window, you just right click on it and say lock it. And I will do mine here in just a minute. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing and stuff, guys, but I've got some serious allergy problems going on. Why do we have this multitask bar? Where? That? All these different things. Okay. It wasn't so, there the first time I nope, that's, an, that's a new thing. So I like to bind my climb key to space, and I'll go over binding keys in just a minute. Um, but if you want it to climb, it's a simple, just click the button right there. It says climbing. Now, if you try to walk forward, when you do that, it's going to give you some problems. Um, if you, if there's an altar nearby and you are, um, part of that religion, then you could pray to it. And so that allows, you know, especially with like PVP areas, if you want to stay faithful to your religion, then you would use that. If not, then you could, like some religions will not allow you to tear up a road because part of their religion is, is like expanding trade and stuff like that. So, um, if you are building in your place and you're part of that religion, well, you have to check unfaithful. So now you could go tear up the road. You'll take a hit in that religion, but, um, you know, you can get the work done. So, <coughs> um, stealth, I really have never used that in freedom. That's more of a PVP area. So that's all I can say about that. Um, I don't really worry about auto fight or backpack or quiver. The map will go over in just a moment. And I don't really worry about the craft yet because that's a really new concept that I'm trying to figure out, but I've worked with a little bit and we'll go over that shortly. And in the meantime, I will continue to, I'm gonna toggle my FPS, that's not bad, 50. Sleep bonus, we'll go over what sleep bonus is here and speed. Now you guys would find it very funny, but he's, if you were able to look at him, he's bald. And in real life, he's bald, so um, that's quite amusing. <laughs> I'm going to fix that. Don't worry. If you look in your inventory, which we'll go over our inventory shortly, 
um, you have a hand mirror and I will change it, what I look like here shortly. So, all right, now that my screen layout is sufficient that I can actually do something and work, um, I'm gonna go through WASD, that's your basic keys. Uh, hold your right mouse click and you can look around. Um, this game is first person view and it is always first person view. So mobs will sneak up behind you and kill you. Now the one thing that might also for people like me okay. is if you hit the W and you're walking around, you'll move in that direction. Yes. You don't have to keep the, clicking the W or the A. Yeah, you don't you don't do this number here. If you can hit hear me hit the keyboard, this is not how you move. It's just hold it and you walk in that direction. And if you turn and the, strafe in that direction. Right. But the right mouse key, you keep click and it'll take you in that direction. So you don't really need to left use mouse. the A or the D. Left mouse key. Left mouse. Yeah. You're military left. <laughs> you were in the military. You should know that. All right. So I think we've gotten through this part. I'm going to go ahead and close this window. And let's uh, let's head this way. I don't know. Can you, can you see me? I can see you. Okay. Uh-oh. What is this? Notifications. Diff uh oh, holy cow. There. That went by so fast. I wonder if it'll pop up. Okay, good. It did pop up again. Different events. Areas notifications provide you useful information. Sparks on the ground. Triggers a notification. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. <coughs> Walk on that ground to trigger. Click. Oh. All right. So that's what this um this window here along the right side is for. I've never used this uh, book of wisdom thing. I this is uh this is all new to me. So this is my first time going through this too. So okay. So it looks like you could take your book of wisdom and go through it as many times as you want afterwards. All right. Game rules. Read the rules. Um. Yes. Everyone listening and watching, you should read the rules. Hmm. We are going to go through this tutorial. So we're going to head this way. <coughs> Correct. You're left. Follow the path. Everything in this world, by the way, um, I haven't mentioned it yet. Everything is made by people. So... Um, and let's examine the quality of that. Wow, that's quality 100. So the higher quality stuff is the less damage it takes over time. How do, how do you tell them how to examine? So just right click on the wall or right click on any object really like for example this sign. Follow the path, right click on it and examine. And then down here it will tell you quality 99, damage 0. And it looks like Wox made this sign. Wox probably made everything. Examine. Come up with yep. Um, okay, so she's saying hers didn't come up with anything. That's because she is on her friends tab, which is on the right-hand side, right tab. And you want to click on the events tab. And so that's how you will see all of that information. <coughs> Now, most of you will probably see all of these people here. This is everyone in your local area. Most of you will probably see them on this side here. Um, during your setup of your client, you can uh, click one of the options to move it over to the events area, which is what I like to do. So this CA help is if you have problems, you can talk to a GM through here. And that's just to have somebody help you walk you through how to play or how to set something up or explain things to you. Geo Freedom tab is your global freedom tab. Um, so right now we're on a Freedom Isles. And there are a ton of different islands and one huge continent that we're going to go to called Xanadu that just opened today. And let's see... Global Freedom will talk to all of them at once. So if somebody shouted just in Freedom Chat, it, it would just show up as Freedom here as another tab. And that is only for that specific server. So no matter what server you choose, you'll always get a GL server name and then a just a server name. 
Uh, right now we're in GL Freedom because we're on the Freedom Isles. So when we choose a server and they actually are able to chat server wide as well, then we'll get one of those tabs as well. And of course, um, I'm sure you know what local is. So let's continue. Examine 94 quality and doc made it. So walks and doc. Okay. Oh, look, this is one of those little light up, thing. light up things. Oh, we got something. Look at your, look at your thing. Wiki. Oh, I'm so glad they put this in here. Please visit wormpedia.com. Yes. <clears throat> Everything you could ever want to know how to make, build, how it works, how it functions, anything you want to know about Worm Online, go to wormpedia.com. They have a nice comprehensive list of everything about Worm. I cannot stress that enough. You will use that. Go there, bookmark it. You will use it constantly. So I'm really glad they put that in there because I didn't take the time in this series to pull that up and show it to you. So let's continue. We're about 11 minutes into this so far. 10 minutes into it so far. So... All right, different events and areas will trigger notifications. It looks like we've already done this one before, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks exactly the same. <clears throat> it does, but that's good to know. That other one out there is probably out there just to, because we could have skipped this and went straight to the portal that was over there. So. Make sure you run over the lights. Yeah. Stand close, right click on an item to interact with it. Yes. Oh, let's let's read that. So, yes, for an example, if there is a chest, you walk up to the chest, you right click on it and you could say open it. And if you have permissions to open that chest, there you go. So let's to, to walk through here. You just keep walking into the gate and it will open up for you. Um, you can make locks for gates and lock them. So only people with keys can get in and out of them. But all right. Hold the mouse over me additional text oh that's new i don't think we've ever had this before where you can actually write on a sign uh such a minecraftian concept i like it all right follow the path there we go um i don't really know which way let's let's walk around and see what we can see because i know it says open Oh, for this? Yeah, go ahead. Let's let's walk up to it. Click on that. Yep, that's telling you. I have a short sword. So, all right, so your inventory, um, you could hit F3, or you could just click the, the link up here, but I prefer just hitting F3. Oh, it does. You see, my wife's teaching me something. I opens up your inventory. Ha, huh. who would have thought? So I don't know if we can take this. Nope, we cannot. That would be illegal here. Because this is not our deed. This is not our town. We don't own it. We're not citizens. So we can't just walk in here and start stealing stuff. Steal. <laughs> now, if you were on a PvP server, um, chances are you, you would actually get an option to steal stuff. So, All right, so let's walk over here and go over to health bar. Yeah. So, the green is your stamina. As you take damage, you notice my stamina is full, your stamina is full. As you take damage, it will start coming in from the right to the left. So, the more damage you have taken, the less stamina overall that you have. Isn't it also lower when you're climbing? Um, your stamina depletes when you climb. So if you're carrying a lot of weight in front of you and you're climbing, then the suggested method is to take everything and put it in your inventory. This includes your armor, your weapons, everything. Just walk up the hill naked, pretty much. Drop everything in front of you. Walk up the hill, turn around, and pick up the items. Turn back around, drop them in front of you, walk up the hill. Um, and, and just kind of, what would you call that, leapfrog? 
yeah leapfrog up the hill that way this way when you actually climb up a hill you're not carrying all the items so your stamina depletes less it's just um it's it's worm logic all right your thirst you will need to Keep an eye on your thirst. There is no getting away from not drinking water here. You will die if you dehydrate. But now I already see that we're all thirsty and a little hungry. Yep. And lastly is your food. So you'll notice that color on the board is slightly greener than the color of our food bar. And that is because of nutrition. So our nutrition, our food is, my food is at 92% right now. So I'm 92% full. I'm a little peckish. I could use a snack. Um, IRL, I just finished the snack, but. My nutrition is nothing. Yes, our nutrition is very low. So we are part of um, learning to cook and feeding yourself is, um, it's a big thing. Now, if your nutrition is above, it's either 40 or 60. I can't remember. Uh, a good place to check would be Wormpedia. But um, if your nutrition is above one of those two, then you gain higher experience and you work faster. And if your nutrition is lower, then obviously you gain less experience and you work slower. Now you can fast. And what that will do is all your food will deplete down to nothing. Your nutrition will drop and then your food bar will fill back up because you're burning your reserve of fat at that point. That's also different. I, or a day's worth of water and food. I think you still can. I'm not sure, so don't hold me to that. They didn't give us any water. I, so I, think, I think we'll find somebody around here shortly. I would, I would imagine we would find somebody that would feed us. So this is just explaining the health bar, thirst bar, and stuff like that. Um, please read these things, but I just kind of went over all of it, so I'm not going to sit here and read it. I forgot to click on this, to be honest. Yeah. All right, let us continue on. What is this one here? Hey, food and water. Yes, that is a uh, butchered pig. And that is that is a pottery flask, and that is a small bucket. So, um, yeah. Now how do we eat it? Well, you can't right now. That's, that's the thing. So, if you kill an animal, I don't even have an option to open this up to be honest. You can normally open up anything you kill and pull items out of it. And in the case of this, if I had a butchering knife, I might actually, let me look. Um, bring up your inventory, right click your tool belt and go ahead and equip that. And that's gonna bring up a hot bar and you can just drag that and move it over out of your way. And what do you want me to do? right click your tool belt Right click on it and say equip. equip. All right, now you can drag that hot bar, the belt that just popped up. Yep, drag that out of the way. There you go. Now, I like to put my butchering knife, uh, but I don't have a butchering knife right now. What I do have is a carving knife, so I like to just drag and drop that over in one of the slots. Carving knife. I got a hatchet, a short sword. Yeah, drop, your, drop your carving knife in there. And I'm just going to throw my axe over there in the other one just because. All right, so go ahead while you have that open, right click your shield and say equip. And right click your short sword and go ahead and equip that as well. All right. Is that it? You done? Um, one second. I'm looking to see if I've got everything. Should I put my backpack on? Um you don't need to. I mean, you can if you want. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to put my hand mirror in my backpack because I will actually... You know what? Let's do the hand mirror right now. Right click on the hand mirror and say use. Oh, look. I'm almost bald. <laughs> huh. That is funny. I didn't know what I looked like until just now. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take a few minutes and do just that. Let's um, get rid of all the hair, though. All right. Let's get rid of all the facial hair, too. There we go. 
Wow, he's derpy. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, you know what? That is good enough. I'm okay with that. Yep. Alrighty, wait on you. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this is. Food and water. Okay. Yep. So if you're running around, you're brand new. Oh, you know what? Now is a very good time to say goodbye because this is our first episode. Wife? Goodbye. All righty. <laughs> so. fun with uh, making myself over. Alrighty, so like, subscribe, comment down below in the doobly-doo, and I will see you guys in the next episode, which for us should be just a minute or two away.